Hi everyone, it's Jesse from Boys and Girls Club. Today I want to show you some origami. That's paper folding, especially when it refers to Japanese culture. And I want to do the paper crane. You see three of them sitting out here. The paper crane is a classic design in origami. And um, it's believed in Japanese culture that the wings carry the soul to paradise. So it's called Orizuru, the paper crane. Orizuru. So to begin folding this paper crane, we're going to need a piece of paper, maybe some scissors. I like to use a pen or a pencil to make those creases nice. So for a piece of paper, we need a square piece of paper. But I only have a rectangle, eight and a half by 11. I need it square. Well, how do you get a square? I'm gonna show you. We're gonna take one corner of the piece of paper and bring it up along this edge. And you may wanna get it, just hover over it and kinda of line that edge up and make a diagonal fold. So if I were to open this up, we want to cut off this top part. So I'm going to use the scissors now, just cutting this edge off the paper. And that will give us a square piece of paper. Okay, so got my square. I even have one line down it, that's good. So we're going to actually fold it corner to corner to get another line the opposite direction here. So now we have two creases. We have to make two more creases. This one's going to be just folding the paper in half, edge to edge. It's good to make your creases pretty tight. That's why a pencil or a pen comes in handy. Sometimes people like to use their fingernail. I usually do that. Or if you have a pen, you can just run that down and save some work on your hands. So I have one more fold this way. I gotta fold it this way so we can get those main lines in here. So when I open it up, I'll have a line this way, a line that way, a line across, and a line that way. Now, I'm gonna flip this over, and this is kind of a tricky part, but if you know about making those fortune teller kind of things, you, you're probably good at this. You kind of just fold the lines, kind of squeeze the paper in, and the lines follow themselves, and it will kind of form into the small square. You can press down, so you have like an edge. The bottom is open, so we have this square now. The next step is taking one flap of one side and folding it to that middle crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it's important to notice before that, part of this top is connected and this part's open. You want to fold the open part, kind of keeping that top closed part as the top part of the crane. So we're going to do it on one side like this. If you were to fold it like this opposite way, it won't work as a crane. So you have to make sure the open part you're folding over. I do one side and I'm going to do the other side. I like to refer to this part kind of as making it an ice cream cone, the shape will. So we're going to flip this over and fold these two sides in the same way we did the other side. And then you'll get what I'm talking about with the ice cream cone now. So that's kind of like the ice cream cone, eh, eh, lemon flavored. So now that we have this part, I'm going to take this top triangle, kind of give it a crease over just to a preliminary kind of bend to get the folds going where I want it. So now we have our ice cream cone. We're going to take one side of it and pull it open. We're going to open it up and then it's going to fold down. Kind of got to force some of these folds a little bit, turn it over, make sure it turns into a diamond shape. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to pull these parts, like pull it open halfway, pull it to the halfway mark and then kind of fold it down. And the paper kind of wants to go along your lines and you'll just make sure it's creased nicely like that. Okay, we have a diamond out of an ice cream cone. So, it's almost looking like a crane, right? There's two different parts. There's a part that's split and the top part's not split. We're gonna take the part that's split and each side we're gonna fold into the center again. So we're gonna make tinier legs or the neck part of the crane. So we're folding it in just like that on one side. Then I'm gonna flip it over and do it to the other side. One edge to the center. You guys that are good at making paper airplanes will probably be really good at this paper crane too. So we have kind of a 
crane, almost a crane. Now we need to make the neck and the tail. To do that, we'll take one of these open skinny legs, I call them, and kind of invert the fold. So to invert it, just kind of open it up and bend it into itself. And then you kind of get where it wants. I think it's about right there. I'm gonna to try to pinch it down. And then on the other side, we're gonna invert that fold on that one to get another leg or a neck or a tail, whatever you wanna do. So now we almost have a crane. I'm gonna take this part for the head and it's another invert fold. Kind of fold it in on itself, pinch it in. Now you have a little beak. The wings are pretty much simple. You just fold down these two wings on either side. And now you have the flappy paper crane. So now that you know how to make an origami paper crane, you can make it of any different square pieces of paper size, any color. Color it in like this one, maybe with eyes and little wing things. So hope you enjoy doing some origami. It's a really good uh, practice and a hobby to do. Thank you. See you next time.